Each afternoon on a Friday every single week we have the opportunity to collaborate as a whole staff between members of secondary, primary and our early years. They are a brilliant opportunity to reflect on our teaching practice and to develop. Um, it's been a really nice time to meet with people you don't normally meet with, like our colleagues in secondary. It's great to have time and opportunity to think about our own professional development on a Friday. Previously, this has always been a little bit of a challenge. Um, the focus groups have been really useful to get that whole school focus on what we want to achieve, so that we know that what we're implementing in primary is also the same as what they want to implement in secondary. An amazing source of development for me um, to be able to see how a whole school from primary to secondary operates together and look at my subject from how it has from how it has originated in the primary school up through to where we take the children into secondary school. But it also, to be honest, it made me feel part of the school. You know, not just a little bit of my work that I do every day, but I was actually part of something in the school strategic plan and I was trying with my colleagues to try and um, address it, you know, to try and improve it. We have PLCs and it means it's a chance for us to choose something you need development on. We get our own choice. This is when other teachers are running their events and you can go and, and see different ideas about how you can improve your teaching. With an abundance of outstanding teachers at GIS, it's awesome to have the opportunity to learn from them. Um, we've had a range of different leaders taking the opportunity to work with different staff on these, ranging from subject teachers to heads of faculty to heads of year and so on. And it means that you can go to that and you get a chance to share with other teachers what you've done and listen to other teachers and see what they've done and there's some amazing stuff, an amazing staff in the school and it's great to learn from each other. Finding the time to really delve into some personal reflection uh, can be tough for educators in a school environment. I think what the Professional Learning Fridays do for us is allow for that routine to start happening when it comes to personal reflection. I really value having the opportunity to reflect. Being able to look back on a week and think about what's gone well or not so well has definitely had a really positive impact on my teaching. Yeah, the professional learning afternoons have really helped me um, in my targets and looking at the blue sky. Obviously you meet your objectives during the teaching you're doing and you collect all the evidence during your work hours, but having that time set aside just for reflection actually forces you to do it. Otherwise teachers are quite prone to putting up a display or doing your marking or something different. Having time when you're told to actually reflect is really liberating because you can sit there and really think about what you've done. And I've seen a marked difference in, in my teaching as, as a result of this. And it just gives me a chance to look at either the day or the last few weeks and just think about my practice. Which gives the opportunity for you to really focus on something that you want to look at in your own practice and on your own professional targets. There's lots of opportunity for collaboration both within your department or year team and across different departments and that has meant that you can really get together with people who are working on a similar target area, implement new strategies and reflect on them. One aspect of the professional learning afternoons which I've really enjoyed as a, as a new member of staff have been the wellbeing sessions. Um, meeting colleagues that you maybe don't know so well and spending time doing fun activities, um, physical ones, creative ones, cooking etc means that you get to know a wide range of colleagues and develop good relationships. It's nice to have that time to socialise and chat with people outside of school and the activities that are on are activities that you're talking to people you don't normally see um, and I found it really nice to meet a few new people that I didn't know through that. I've been involved in playing racket sports and it's been great to play with other members of staff that you might not necessarily socialise with out of school which then means when you come back into work there's a great working environment. So it's been really good working with colleagues from throughout the school to find common ground in what we're doing. As we encourage the children to be collaborative workers, I think it's really important that we model that and practice that as well. On a Friday afternoon when people have chosen to come, you know you're going to get people with open minds and wanting to, to really affect change.